Well, in this video, I will show you how to solve exponential equations when the bases are completely different and they cannot be made into the same thing at all. Um, I'm going to need a little bit more space for this. So I'm going to write, what? Well, why am I writing log right now? I'm giving away my secrets. It's not time for that yet. I'm going to write 7 to the 2x plus 1 power is equal to, now spread it out, 3 to the x plus 3 power. So the reason why I spread this out is because I need to take the log of both sides to make this work. Um, go ahead and let one of your, uh, use the base, use one of the bases that you have showing here, either 7 or 3. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and write log base 7 of 7 to the 2x plus 1 power. And then over here, I have to use the same base, so log base 7 again. Next, we will use the power rule that says that you can take an exponent and move it to the front of the logarithm. So um, this would be the same thing as 2x plus 1, please use parentheses, times the log base 7 of 7. And I will do the same thing over here, moving the x plus 3 out to the front according to the power rule. So I will have x plus 3 times the log base 7 of 3. Now, the log base 7 of 7 is 1, so I don't need to write that down. This becomes a 1, which changes nothing. So I will have 2x plus 1 equals. Now over here, I need to take the log base 7 of 3 and do the distributive property with it. So that's going to give me x times the log base 7 of 3 uh, plus 3 times the log base 7 of 3. Okay, so I'm going to do two things at once right now. Um, one thing I need to do is uh, I need to get my x terms together on one side of the, of the equation. So see how this is an x term and this is an x term. So I want both of these to be on the left side together. So uh, I'm going to subtract this. So that's why I'm going to have 2x uh, minus x log base 7 of 3 on the left. Now at the same time, I'm going to move this 1 over to the other side by subtracting it from both sides. So I will have negative 1 plus. Uh, but also, I'm going to use the power rule uh, in, in the reverse order that I did it before. Um, the power rule allowed me to take this exponent and make it a coefficient. But I can also go the other way and take this coefficient and make it an exponent. All right, so this should be the same thing as log base 7 of 3 to the third power which is 27. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put 27. Okay, now, on the left side, I have my x terms. I did that so I could uh, take out the x as a common factor. So I will put that common x outside the parentheses, and I will write what is left behind, which is 2 minus log base 7 of 3. So that equals negative 1 plus log base 7 of 27. Finally, I can get x by itself uh, by dividing both sides of the equation by 2 minus log base 7 of 3. And that's as far as I can go. Okay, that is really the final answer right there. Uh, I suppose I will just recopy it real quick. Um, but x equals, because uh, uh, these cancel each other out, so x equals negative 1 plus log base 7 of 27 over 2 minus log base 7 of 3. This is the exact answer. Um, if we want a decimal approximation, we can get that by typing this into a calculator. Uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. So fraction mode, and there's my negative 1 
plus. Now on this calculator, I cannot type log base 7 of 27 directly. So I'm going to have to use the change of base formula and write this as log 27 over log 7. So that's what I'm doing. This is the change of base formula. Log 27 over log 7. Alright, if you have a more fancy calculator, you could just uh, type it in the way it looks on the paper. Um, so I have 2 minus... And again, I will use the change of base formula here, log 3 over log 7. Okay, so I'm getting 0 0.4833, got to round up. So that's the solution to problem number 9. Let's do one more of those. Problem number 10. Again, we have unlike bases, and there's no way to make them into the same base. So I will um, take the log of both sides. Uh, using one of the bases, I might as well use the 3. So um, if I take the log of both sides, I can write the log base 3 of 3 to the 4x plus 3 power. And now I have to do the log base 3 again. So the log base 3 of 8 to the negative x plus 2 power. Now I can use the power rule to put these exponents in the front. Okay, with parentheses. So I will have 4x plus 3 times the log base 3 of 3 is equal to negative x plus 2 times the log base 3 of 8. The log base 3 of 3 is 1. That's why I picked it. So that's gone. So then now I have 4x plus 3 equals. Now the log base 3 of 8 will have to be distributed. So this is going to give me negative x times the log base 3 of 8 plus 2 times the log base 3 of 8. Um, on the next step, I am going to take this 2 and uh, use the power rule to make it into the exponent of this. So that's one thing that's going to happen. So 8 squared is 64, so watch out for that. But um, also, I need to get my x terms together on the left side of the equation. So these are my x terms. So I'm going to bring down my 4x but I'm going to bring this other x term over to the left by adding it to both sides. See how it's negative? So when I bring it to the left, I will have plus x log base 3 of 8. Now I need to bring the other term over to the right by subtracting it. So I'm going to have negative 3 plus log base 3, and there's that 64 I warned you about. Um, so now that I have my x terms together, I can factor out the common factor, the GCF, which is x. So that will leave behind 4 plus uh, log base 3 of 8 is equal to negative 3 plus log base 3 of 64. So I can get x by itself if I simply divide both sides by 4 plus log base 3 of 8. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to divide by 4 plus log base 3 of 8. That way these cancel out. So this is going to basically be my final answer. All right, I'm going to have to go off the page a little bit. To do this, so I'm going to have um, x equals negative 3 plus log base 3 of 64 over 4 plus log base 3 of 8. So this is the final answer if I want an exact answer. Um, if I want a decimal approximation, I can uh, type this into my calculator, which I am going to do now. Fraction mode, there's my negative 3 plus. This I'm going to have to put in using the uh, 
change of base formula. So it'll be log 64 over log 3. So I need another fraction, log 64 over log 3. And then in the denominator, I've got 4 plus, etc. So 4 plus, and now the change of base formula again. So that's going to be log 8 over log 3. Boom. 0 0.1333. So that's what you would put if you were asked for a decimal approximation. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.